in your life and in your career, the sense of uh, fulfillment and and uh, and success is very linked to how much you think you can impact things. My name is Laurent Marcel, I'm 52 years old, graduated from HSA in 1994, passed the bar exam, became a lawyer, practiced law for five years, and then I spent 20 years at Danone uh, in different parts of the world, in, uh, in Paris, Jakarta, Moscow, in Mumbai, uh, and finally New York, where I'm sitting today, and I was heading uh, the venture capital arm of Danone until last year, and I left Danone after 20 years last year to, time, to start my own venture capital firm called Eclair Partners. I think I did really. What's exciting with Danone, the reason why I joined the company in the first place is, is that uh, at Danone, sustainability is not a side philanthropic activity. It's really part of the DNA, the culture and the business model of Danone. And so when I was you know, working at Danone for 20 years, we were really encouraged and empowered to drive sustainability projects. So when I was, for example, uh, the CEO of Danone in India uh, for five years, we had lots of projects working with uh, dairy farmers in the north of India, supporting their dairy farming practices, their sustainability practices, the education of the family. All that was very concrete, and I was absolutely empowered to do that at Danone. I think in two ways, and I think there are rules of common sense that are important if you want to uh, be sustainable at scale. The first one is uh, really uh, connects very tightly your business goals with your sustainability objectives. I think in any business, if you want to succeed, you have to uh, create a sustainability by design in your business model. Uh, so if you sell food products, make sure they are your recipes are sustainable. If you build a factory, make sure uh, the design of the factory is sustainable. And, and I think in, at every stage, that's the way to think. And then the second thing is uh, measure your sustainability goals. Sometimes we view sustainability as a, a qualitative activity to do good. It's not. It's, it should become a business activity where whether it's CO2 reduction, plastic reduction, whatever you do, the number of points in your B Corp certification, you need to measure them and you need to uh, reward the teams with the success, like you do for any business activity. Eclair's mission is to invest in the next generation of sustainable food brands enabled by technology. That's how we define it. So it's really about uh, inventing the, the future sustainable diet. So what are we going to eat tomorrow so we can be 10 billion uh, human beings on the planet uh, uh, without exhausting the planet? So that's the heart of the strategy. It's also the belief that brands can help uh, you know, consumers adopt more sustainable diets. And finally, technology, because the truth is that to invent uh, the future sustainable food forms, uh, new proteins, uh, new snacking, new beverages, new baby, whatever it is, we need technology uh, to, to help us. Uh, we want to, to invest in the US, in Europe and India, which are the, the, the three countries that uh, my partners and I know well. Eclair, everybody knows the pastry, but Eclair is the L'éclair de l'orage, the, the lightning in the sky, l'éclair de génie, the spark of genius, and, uh, and of course the pastry. For me, the, the thesis of l'éclair is in the name. It's the planet, it's innovation, and it's, it's taste, good food. I think the, the, not just the food industry, but the society in general has changed a lot over the last, I would say, 10 or 15 years. When I joined Danone in 2002, people were very aware that food had a direct impact on your health. Now, people understand that what they eat has an impact not just on their body, but on the planet, which I think is fairly new. That's a big change. And because of that, I think the food industry has changed at the same time. Because I think if you're a food leader, if you're a leader in the food company today, you have to realize that your consumers read the label and they are looking at what you're doing uh, for the society and the planet. And your second question, we are how, how can we, what can we do about it? So, so the, the thesis of Eclair is really to support innovators who are going to look for solutions to change the food system. The way we will do our share in, in, in the future of food is, is to uh, spot founders and entrepreneurs who have uh, new ideas that we think can be disruptive at scale, invest in them, support their growth, and then hopefully be one of the players that are going to help uh, bring the new solutions. 
And the answer is yes. The reason why I joined Danone in the first place is because it was not only about business success, it was also about uh, you know, social impact. And it was in the DNA of the company since it was created. So that's what drove me in the company. And I was, you know, I was lucky to continue to evolve in the company for which health and sustainability are at the heart of what you do. So it gives you a big sense of purpose. And, and I think the second thing, which is also what we were discussing earlier, is that during all my years at, at Danone, I, I always felt very, uh, free and empowered to do things. In your life and in your career, the sense of uh, fulfillment and, and, uh, and success is very linked to how much you think you can impact things. Being uh, really able to act on things, uh, I think that that's what made uh, my last 20 years really exciting.